This is Rome, the football capital of Italy. Home of the best club in Italy, AS Roma. And at the heart of Rome, a transformation is underway. Not within the ancient ruins, but in the plans for a new home for S. Roma. The Stadio Olimpico, while steeped in history, has long been shared with city rival Lazio and has grown outdated. It is no longer offering the immersive experience that the passionate Giallorossi fans deserve. That's why AS Roma is embarking on a monumental project, the construction of a $1.1 billion brand new state-of-the-art stadium in the Pietrolata district. But how do you create a cutting-edge stadium that reflects the legacy of AS Roma, while ensuring it captures the soul and spirit that the club has cultivated over decades? That's the $1.1 billion question we're about to answer today. We'll give you the latest update on the new stadium, we'll show how it will look like and where it will be built. All to create the best match day experience in the world. One of the standout features will be the Curva Sud, the section reserved for the most passionate Roma fans. It's going to be the largest single-tier stand in Europe, echoing the passion and intensity of Roma's supporters. We are talking about the largest single stand in Europe, filled with 62,000 roaring fans cheering for Paolo Dybala and Gianluca Mancini. To put it in perspective, this stadium could fit the entire population of Vatican City. Now, let's set the scene. This new massive structure is rising in a city where ancient ruins coexist with bustling cafes and the constant hum of Vespas. It's building a spaceship in the middle of an archaeological dig. But that's Rome, always finding ways to marry the old with the new. The stadium is expected to be completed by 2027, which would coincide perfectly with AS Roma's 100th anniversary. Ready for the $1.2 billion pizza update? This is Roma, as Roma. Two, from Colosseum to cutting edge, the blueprint phase. But why does AS Roma need a new stadium in the first place? Picture this, a team sharing their home with their biggest rivals. It's like Batman and the Joker living in the same cave. Currently, AS Roma plays since 1953 in the Olympic Stadium, alongside their arch enemies, Lazio Roma. The Olimpico has been a great home, but it's time for Roma to have a stadium that's truly their own. This move symbolizes a new era for the club, one where they can create new traditions and legacies. It's the same as in Milan, where AC Milan and Inter Milan share the same stadium. On paper, it's a great idea, but in reality, nobody likes it. First off, let's talk about location. AS Roma's new stadium will be located in the Pietrolata district of Rome, a strategic choice that's not just about building a sports venue, but also about revitalizing an entire neighborhood. The project is a key part of a broader urban regeneration plan, transforming Pietrolata into a vibrant hub of activity. The site will cover approximately 20 hectares, which is about the size of 28 football fields. But it's not just about the stadium. The area will include vast green spaces, pedestrian and cycling paths, and new infrastructure that will make it a focal point for the community, not only on match days. The design itself is inspired by classical Roman architecture, but it also incorporates modern elements. The facade will be wrapped in vertical fins, giving it an oval shape that's not just aesthetically pleasing, but also functional. These fins will help control light and ventilation, just like in the old days at the Colosseum. Enter Populus, the architectural firm is tasked with bringing the blend of ancient and future together. And this is what they came up with. They are the same designers that brought us Wembley Stadium in London, Yankee Stadium in New York, and the Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta. Now, let's talk about the design. Imagine a facade of vertical fins, curving like a modern coliseum, but with enough tech to make a Silicon Valley exec jealous. It's a blend of Roman heritage and futuristic elements that's as harmonious as spaghetti and meatballs. The result? A structure that pays homage to Rome's rich history while boldly stepping into the future. <laughs> but here's where it gets really interesting. The new AS Roma Stadium will feature Europe's largest single stand, seating 62,000 fans. Building this is like solving a giant 3D puzzle, where each piece weighs several tons and has to withstand the stomping of excited fans. 
It's an engineering challenge that would make even the ancient Roman architects scratch their heads. The stadium is expected to be completed by 2027, which would coincide perfectly with AS Roma's 100th anniversary. Romans will celebrate a century of football history in a brand new state-of-the-art stadium. 3. Concrete, Sweat, and Tears – The Construction Journey Feeling a bit dizzy thinking about the sheer scale of this project? You're not alone. Now imagine trying to fit this espresso-charged mega-project into a city older than the Colosseum itself. But how are they actually doing it? That's where things get really interesting. Rome, a city where ancient ruins rub shoulders with bustling cafes and where the past is always present, is about to get a futuristic facelift. The new AS Roma Stadium isn't just dropping into an empty field. It's nestled in the Pietralata area, a neighborhood with its own rich history and character. So how do you build a billion-dollar stadium without disturbing a 2,000-year-old neighborhood? It's not as impossible as it sounds, but it's definitely a puzzle worthy of the finest Roman engineers. The construction starts in early 2025, and it will be finished in 2027, together with the 100th anniversary of the club. That's right, they're planning to cut the ribbon on this colossal project during the club's 100th birthday bash. But here's where it gets really tricky. Imagine trying to maneuver a 100-ton crane through the small cobbled streets. It's like playing Tetris, but with multi-ton construction equipment and priceless historical artifacts as obstacles. And it's not just about building big, it's about building smart. This stadium aims to be as green as the pitch it surrounds. But perhaps the most impressive feat the level of community engagement. Over 700 Romans participated in public debates about the project and gave it a green light. It's like a modern day forum, but with fewer togas and more hard hats. More than a stadium, a new Roman monument. Can a billion dollar stadium really become a part of everyday Roman life? The answer might surprise you, and it involves much more than just football. As the new AS Roma Stadium rises from the ground, it's not just the scale that's impressive, it's the vision behind it. Let's start with the basics. The stadium will seat 55,000 fans and can expand to 62,000 fans, making it the largest stadium in Italy. The design includes a curved facade formed of vertical fins, creating an iconic visual identity that's both modern and reminiscent of Rome's architectural heritage. This stadium isn't designed to sit empty six days a week. It's conceived as a community hub, bustling with activity even when there's no match on. The project includes shopping and entertainment facilities, turning the stadium into a destination in its own right. This multifunctional approach is expected to bring significant urban regeneration to the Pietralata area. This will reshape the entire neighborhood. The project aims to shift Rome's center of gravity, creating a new focal point for the city that blends sports, commerce, and community life. The economic impact will be substantial. By creating a space that's active throughout the week, not just on match days, the stadium is expected to generate consistent economic activity. But perhaps the most exciting aspect is how this project could change the way Romans interact with their city. By creating a new landmark that's accessible and useful to everyone, not just football fans, the stadium has the potential to become a true public space. Did you check out the new stadium expansion of Manchester City? The same as in Rome, they are renovating not just the stadium but also the venues around it to make it a great place to be, six days a week. 